When people think of new trends, they usually think of clothing. The new trend is Botox. With it only being introduced in 2002, it has grown in popularity. Its first purpose was a cosmetic product, product to moderate brow lines in men and women. Now it is being used more than just a cosmetic product. It is used to help people manage pain. Today I'm going to inform you on what Botox is and how it changed throughout the years for different purposes. We will do this by discussing what Botox is and how it works. Then we will discuss how Botox is being used as a pain med medication. And then at the end, I'll be showing you the financial part of Botox. Botox has many different parts to it, and we will examine what Botox is to understand them. According to an article written by Patricia Yang and Antonio Freeman, titled The Story of Clostidium Botulian from Food Poisoning to Botox, Botox co comes from the bacteria Clostidium Botulium. Eric Van Damey and Paul de Boss stated that Emilia Pierre Marie van Ermergenhem, a Belgian bacteria, contained the bacteria Clostidium Botulium. On, on December 14, 1895, raw ham was served at a funeral, and many people consumed this ham. Over the next couple days, people fell ill. A connection showed between the people who ate it and the people who got sick. They all shared similar symptoms of impaired eye vision, uncontrolled action of the eye, lids, weakness of muscles, and other sickening systems. Van Emmergen, now a professor, showed the interest of finding the source of this problem. He researched, and after some time, he found a similar report of food intoxication by sausages. He concluded that, that the bacteria produces toxins. According to Patricia Yang and Antonio Freeman, the Botulinum toxin is produced from this bacteria and is lethal in certain qualities. During World War I, Germany knew that this bacteria was lethal and could produce a deadly toxin. They were in the first attempts at creating a biological weapon out of this toxin. Their attempts failed after discovering antibiotics would quickly cure it. The next attempt of using this toxin was done by the United States. They had a plan to use undercover Japanese spies to inject the toxin into a food or drink. This failed because they used stray donkeys, and after their toxin was injected to them, they didn't die and they survived. This, now that we understand the history of Botox, we can now examine how it's used as pain medication. According to the Mayo Clinic, Botox inject injections are a toxin called Otomium Botulinum Toxin A to temporarily prevent a muscle from moving. The most notable thing Botox does is block certain chemical signals from the nerves. This temporarily relaxes the muscle. People who suffer from certain conditions can use Botox to relieve their pain. These condi conditions consist of lazy eye, chronic headaches, eye twitching, and many others. Lazy eye is when you have a muscle imbalance in positioning the eye. Using Botox for this would make your muscle relax and make it e easier to reposition the eye. Eye twitching has a similar process to lazy eye. According to a Time article written by Alexander Strickland, chronic migraines and headaches are also common for Botox. People who suffer migraines for 15 days out of the month are likely to get this. Physicians are unclear why it works because they don't even know how chronic headaches happen. Physicians do criti clinical studies on this and posted from the bail. The people who get this treatment get 31 injections across their forehead and neck. This results in relief for three to six months, and after the treatment is worn off, the patient will get another dose. Now that we have explored the history of pain medication and aspect of Botox, we can talk about the financial piece of Botox. According to Ann Goddard, Botox is sold by the unit. The amount of Botox use is, has is different for purposes. For cosmetic use, if the patient wanted to get rid of forehead lines, they would use 20 units of Botox. If you wanted to get rid of lines between your eyes, you could use up to 20 units. This means you can have up to 40 units just on your forehead alone. The cost of Botox varies on how much they charge per unit. Botox units can cost from $250 to $500. Each unit costs between $10 and $15. Depending on how much you need, it will cost and will vary. Today we have explored the world of Botox. We discussed the history of it, how it's being used for pain medica medication, and the financial part of it. Botox is quickly changing the world. It was introduced as a deadly toxin in raw meat and has turned into medication. It has been studied for hundreds of years and still being studied today. With it first being used for cosmetics and now being used as pain medication, it will have a, change, it will have a positive change in the medical field. It has potential use for more purposes in the future, and its financial piece will affect people using it. Botox has changed throughout the years for different purposes and will continue to improve for the better. Oh, and it, oh, and it.